Stentor and the violin have been together since 1895. This was my grandfather's price list of over a hundred years ago and an early picture of his music shop in South London and his violin workshop. In 1973 Stentor moved to Reigate in Surrey and our headquarters is still there. Exactly 100 years later, in 1995, we opened the Stentor factory workshop in Taixing, China. And now, in this short presentation, we're going to show you how Stentor violins are made and the careful quality control that goes into every instrument. Spruce and maple used in making are specially selected for their tonal qualities. This cello wood is being graded and sorted. We now go to the main wood drying sheds. The large fans assist the natural circulation of air through these open stacks of tone wood for a minimum of three years. It is most important that the tone wood is seasoned and dried to a very low moisture content to ensure quality, stability and tone. The tone wood now goes into one of the five drying kilns. These are all used for slightly different purposes. Mr. Zhou is going to take us inside one of them where controlled heat dries to the required moisture content. The first stage of making is to prepare matching wedges for the front and the back plates. The edges of these are planed flat. After this they are glued together using a hot natural glue. A rubbed joint is used which excludes all the air, making a perfect joint. The outline shape of the violin is cut with a bow saw. This type of saw has been in use for centuries, but it is still a very effective way of cutting out the shape of the violin. And so to the carving shop, where the arching of the front and back is carved from solid wood. The Stentor factory is really a collection of workshops with more than 50 rooms specialising in different parts of the making process. It is important to control the thickness of the front and back to achieve a good quality of sound. Notice how this is constantly checked with a caliper gauge. The next stage is cutting the air holes. These are marked out in pencil using a template. Notice how quickly and accurately this is cut using a light handheld bow saw. The F hole is then trimmed using a craft knife and the skill of the worker contributes to the individuality of each instrument, particularly so in the high grade and high quality workshops. We now go to another part of the factory where the base bar is cut and fitted to the profile of the front and glued into place. Throughout the making of the Stentor violin only natural glues are used. This is very important so that future generations can repair the instrument. Modern glues generally do not allow this. Later, the base bar is carefully carved to shape. Notice the thin pieces of maple for the ribs or sides of the instrument. These are bent to shape using a hot iron on wood that has been dampened. It looks very easy but it is really a very skilled job. In 
each section of the rib is now cut to size, selected and then fitted to this outside mould. And the whole rib cage is wedged together ready for the next stage of the making process. Here the top and bottom blocks are glued in place. Next the corners are fitted and then the linings complete the rib cage. High grade models are made using an inside mould with the ribs being individually clamped. At all times, inspection takes place and here is Mr. Lee busy checking. In the body workshop, the table or front of the violin is matched with the back and the rib cage. These are then carefully assembled together, glued in place and clamped up to make the basic body of the violin. Every stentor violin has inlaid perfectly. Here we can see the purfling channel and how each piece of purfling is cut to size and the mitres are cut for the corners. Purfling is then hammered and glued into place. edges of the body are trimmed using scraper and rasp to ensure an even rounded edge. This is Miss Ong in the high-grade violin workshop. She has worked for Stentor since the factory opened. The body is once again carefully checked. The body is almost ready to go to the neck department, but first the ebony saddle which supports the tail gut is carefully fitted. We are now looking down at the cello and double bass workshop, past all the bicycles. Inside this workshop more space is needed for these larger instruments. Notice the skill of the carver working on this cello, trimming the corner and edge. Here is Mr. Chen, master cello maker, who is busy checking cellos.
This is the neck carving shop. And the two slits at the sides are being cut with a bow saw, ready for carving the bullet the scroll. We're now going to take a look at the general carving skills throughout the workshop. The carving of the peg box, of the neck and the scroll. Each worker has a full set of carving tools, must look after them and keep them sharp. Quality and measurements are constantly checked throughout the making process. Even small differences of a few millimetres are important. In this part of China, there is a long tradition of hand skills and we at Stentor have been able to harness these skills in a pleasant working environment, making violins, violas, cellos and double basses. There are more than 200 people making instruments at the Stentor factory in much the same way that the violin has been made by hand in Europe for hundreds of years. The neck is now ready for fitting to the body of the violin. The elevation and angle is carefully checked and adjusted before the neck is finally glued into place. The violin goes to the varnishing and finishing shops. Here several coats of varnish are applied and there is a long process of rubbing down, polishing and finishing. This is the final setup workshop. Here the peg holes are reamed and the pegs individually fitted. Tail gut and tail piece are assembled. Then the sound post is cut to size and fitted inside the instrument. The feet of the bridge must be cut to the exact arching of the front and the bridge profile is then individually shaped. Miss Sun has also worked at the factory since it opened and is now one of the head checkers. Each instrument is individually checked before shipment to be sent off around the world to add to the hundreds of thousands of young musicians whose musical education and enjoyment has benefited from a stentor instrument. Violins, violas, cellos and double basses. We hope you have enjoyed learning something about how stentor instruments are made and that they will continue to give many years of great enjoyment.